Look around, look around, and you will notice the trigonometry of the things around the world. The world is so creative that it involves the application of mathematical concepts. It has even become helpful in solving crime scenes and creating deductions. In the abstract of the article, The Use of Trigonometry in Blood Spatter, the author mentioned that trigonometry holds a special place in the hearts of the blood spatter analysis because they work hard to utilize the known identities and trigonometric function to unfold clues present in a crime scene such as the angle of impact of blood stains, the angle from where a person is struck, and the angle from where the blood fell. Additionally, it can be used in the height of a person via the angle of impact. This BPA, or blood pattern analysis, we will only discuss a few concepts, angle of impact, area of convergence, and point of origin. To know the angle of impact from where the blood came from, it is important to know the length and the width of the blood stain through the formula arc sine of width over length equals theta. Meanwhile, blood stains do not exist as a single droplet in a crime scene, but as many small droplets. If one is to draw lines from at least two blood stains through its major axis, their intersection is known as the area of convergence. Similarly, the point where multiple blood stains seem to intersect is called the point of convergence. Compared to the two-dimensional area of convergence, the point of origin is a three-dimensional space from which blood came from. To be able to get this, the distance between a blood stain and the area of convergence will be measured labeled as D, and the formula P equals D tan A will be used wherein P is the point of origin. For example, a woman was murdered in her house and there were splatters of blood in the wall. When examined, one blood stain measured 0.75 cm in width and 1 cm in length. Using the mentioned formula, you can solve for the angle of impact. After solving, you should arrive at theta is equal to 85 degrees. Here we have an example of a blood spatter. By connecting pairs of blood droplets with lines, we are able to create an area of convergence. And by using some formula, we can solve for the distance of the mentioned blood stain from the area of convergence, which is 30 centimeters. This, we can solve for the point of origin by substituting the values we solved earlier. The distance of the mentioned blood stain from the area of convergence being 30 centimeters, and the angle of impact being 85 degrees. To the formula, P is equal to D multiplied to tan A. And get P is equal to 5.37 centimeters. Here we can see that trigonometric concepts were used, including the angle of impact of a blood stain, the inverse function arc size is used. Tangent, on the other hand, was used to get the point of origin together with the distance from the area of convergence. Some people fail to recognize the importance of mathematical concepts and formulas, but they are very important in solving real-life problems. So remember, to take down notes and not fall asleep in your next math class, as the formulas you are memorizing actually have a use.